Hi all, let's talk about row count transformation in SSIS. So row count transformation is one of the transformation in the SSIS toolbox, but we may not use this transformation very regularly in all the scenarios. Okay, but as it is having a uniqueness and it helps us to identify the number of rows which are flowing through this transformation. So row count transformation counts the rows as they passes through the row count transformation and stores that row count into a variable. And before going to use the row count transformation, you may need to declare a variable within the scope of the data flow task minimum. And if you want to use the same variable in the entire package, you may need to create a variable with the scope of the package and one more important point is so the transformation stores the row count value only after the last row has passed through the transformation and so where exactly we'll use the row count transformation so there are some scenarios so where you need to pass the number of rows to the end users through mail or you may need to log that information so that time so we'll identify the number of rows and we'll send out a mail to the customer saying that these many rows has been passed or these many rows has been inserted into the destination. So now let me show you how to configure or how to use practically row count transformation in SSIS. Now let's go to SQL Server Data Tools. So in the data tools, so I have just diagrammed of the data flow task. So I just double click. So I have a one OLEDB source and I just created one variable with the name of count. So with the scope of a package name, package name is nothing but my row count. So it is an integer variable, initial default value is zero. First, let me configure OLEDB source. Let me double click on it. So let me click on new. Yeah, I have one existing connection. Let me set the adventure works, click on okay and select any table. So it, I'm not talking about a data. I'm talking about a row count. Let's take the person dot address. So click on preview. Do we have any data? Yes, we have some data. Let's close. Click on OK. Now let's drag and drop the row count transformation from the SSIS toolbox. Let's link with OLEDB source. Let's double click on it. So here you need to tell the variable name user count. This is the first step to configure row count. Once you are done, right click on the uh, row count go to show advanced editor. So here the variable name is automatically tied in the earlier version of uh, SSIS. You need to tie this variable name here manually. So let's click on OK. Now let's go to the script task. How to pass this variable? How to pass this variable to the .NET code? We can see that. So let me click on uh, save that and go to script task. Connect this. Yeah, double click on the script task. And uh, you can say it's a read only variable, read write variable A3 is fine because I'm not going to write anything into this variable. Click on the edit script. So, in this example, you can see how to uh, use a variable in the script task with the variable is already declared in the SSIS package. Once you click on edit script, it opens a separate project for us. So this is the place where you need to write the code here. So SSIS is intelligent. It shows you the place where to write the code. So here I am going to write a very simple basic code message box. So message box dot show off. So I am I am accessing the variable which has declared in the package. Now DTS dot variables of double quotes count dot value dot to string. So if you're familiar with a C sharp, then it is a, not a big deal for us. Okay. Once you're done with a code, let's click on save it and click on close and don't forget to click on this. Okay. Once you click on, okay, that code it automatically saves along with this package. So I just clicked on. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, uh, save and all let's run this package. Yeah, if you see here, what is this? These, this is the number of rows in the address table. So this is how we need to use the row count transformation to access the number of rows which are 
flows between the row count means if you see here so the number of rows are flows from source to the row count transformation this row count transformation captures the row count only it does not capture the data and it passes that value to the variable and that variable i used in the script task so this is how we use the row count transformation in ssis so thank you for watching